Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to this episode of our entertainment show. As you know, in part three of our entertainment show each week, we premiere our new movie or TV series that is debuting in Ireland and the UK. And up for discussion uh, this week is a movie that's all, of, all, all out in cinema screens across Ireland since last Friday, April the 7th. It's called Air. It features the tale of the shoe salesman, the famous Nike shoe salesman, Sonny Ficaro, back in the late uh, 1980s in terms of he led Nike's pursuit in what he deemed one of the would be the greatest uh, athlete in terms of American sports history and of sports history uh, worldwide the one and only Michael Jordan in terms of pursuing him as a rookie. Uh, Air features an all-star cast including Matt Damon who plays Sonny Vaccaro, Jason Bateman who plays Rob Strasser, then we have Ben Affleck, Chris Messer, Chris Tucker, Marilyn Waynes, Jessica Green, Vilas Davis, and our special guest this evening. Uh, he gets the dubious honour of playing the one and only Michael Jordan in air. Uh, he's an, a young actor by the name of uh, Damien uh, Young. Uh, Damien, first of all, can I ask you, how did the opportunity come about for you uh, to get cast in air and... Uh, to play the role of one of sporting's all-time greats, uh, the legendary Michael Jordan? Yeah, so um, I had recently just moved out to Los Angeles, California, um, still chasing the dream as a professional athlete uh, till this day. But, you know, I was playing in a lot of different leagues and playing on different teams here in Los Angeles. And, you know, they're, the, the pool is smaller than you think. And so, so many different people submitted my name, like, hey, man, we know of this project coming about, and they're looking for a young MJ, and you look like them. And so that happened on a, a number of occasions. But me being new out here, and um, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't think much of it. Um, like, who gets to play Michael Jordan or, or even get to, you know, have that their names um, mentioned at the same time as him. So I didn't think much of it, but I was actually working on um, the new project that's coming out in May, uh, White Man Can't Jump In, and I received a call and they told me that they wanted to cast me as Michael Jordan. And man, it, it was just, I, I can't even say a dream come true. No one thinks of that. You know, you, you think that that's a one and done deal. No one touches that, but man, I'm I'm speechless and I, I'm humbled and I, I can't I can't be more excited. And uh, Damien, did you have to send in a sort of uh, a reel uh, of your basketball skills? Had to you had you to show off and had you to do sort of demos uh, in sort of person uh, to show uh, your repertoire of uh, basketball skills to the likes of uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and Jason Bateman, or did you so send them a highlight reel of some of your best sort of basketball sort of moves and takes? Honestly, I don't even think they casted me based off of basketball. Um, I don't know if you've seen the film yet, but the, it's strictly about the signing of the shoe. So the highlights can be simulated because, you know, it's his actual highlights from his actual time. So that did need to be recreated. The the shoe signing was the main focal point and the the handling of the business affairs between his mother and Nike and the other companies. Right. So that was the main focal point. So, um, no, they weren't concerned about my skill in basketball. Um, I don't even think that was known that I could that, you know, for for that project, when that production reached out, I don't think they casted me for uh, as the basketball player. They more so casted me as the look um, SAG uh, act SAG after affiliated and he's an actor, you know, and he looks like him. So I think when it's just it's just perfect destiny, it's it's, it's no mistake, I believe, um, because I believe there's more projects and stories that want to include MJ and that's a very sensitive subject and I, I think it has to be done right and man I, I think I, like I said I'm humbled and I would love to dive deeper into it but yeah I, I think it was strictly off of looks and me being able to play basketball and having a strong basketball background was just coincidental. Okay. And uh, Damien, in terms of looking at the history, and uh, I know Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, they, they spoke uh, to Michael Jordan, they had uh, conversations about uh, 
his understanding and his memories of what happened at that time. And were, were they able to feed you back that sort of dialogue, Dana, in terms of how they wanted you to recreate his sort of actions and mimic sort of his sort of feelings uh, towards this sort of big endorsement? And uh, did you do a bit of outside research yourself? Oh, definitely. Um, prior to just giving, getting the uh, script to audition, I started watching interviews, trying to get his cadence, his um, his charisma of just how he delivered his words and whatnot, because he, being from North Carolina, he spoke a little bit different in his earlier career. Um, so I just wanted to get that down and just see what I could find out more, more than I already knew. Like I said, I've only been watching him my whole life because of the love of basketball. So um, yeah, but getting on set, Ben Affleck was extremely clear of what he wanted, uh, what he was looking for, um, uh, letting me know that it would be like an over the shoulder mystery, knowing he's there, just feeling his ambiance, just understanding his auras in the room. So that was very clear. So the you know the the posture and the 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 way the way of walking i mean that's really me you know as an athlete you know your your body you, you kind of just you play through a lot you know so you're always constantly working out you you playing and through you playing through aches so you have that you know non-conscious limp sometimes and so i mean that part was easy i just took some deeper instruction from the great Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. And apparently I, I hope I did my job, man. So just the just what I was able to do, I I, I made sure I paid close attention to the instruction given. And when Ben Affleck said he was satisfied, we moved on. And I suppose, uh, Damien, uh, in terms of there's a strong uh, representation there of uh, Michael Jordan's mother as well, played by Viola Davis, Viola Davis. And how important was it to you have many scenes with Viola in the movie and uh, to create that sort of mother, sort of son bond uh, in terms of the Jordan family dynamic? Did you look into that and how you wanted to portray that mother, sort of son relationship? Oh, well, that that was easy, man. I, I grew up in that same uh, aspect, um, minus having a father as James Jordan, but just getting to be on set with Viola Davis, you know, she had a lot of my my own mother's tendencies and and embrace. And so that that part was easy. The in-between takes of just staying in character to prepare for the on-camera, um, that was legendary learning. You know, I, I was able to learn from a great a EGOT. Um, I couldn't have learned from any better cast of all stars, man. So I'm I'm extremely grateful. But yeah, she she made it clear of her assignment. She did the best professional, like, man, I I can't I can't be any more grateful to work with her. But yeah, I just She's a real mother, you know, you can tell the 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 real concern and then you can you can feel the the connection between the character and the the real human being, you know, being that she's actually working with her husband and they have children together. And so, um, you know, and then in between takes, she's like giving me wisdom and, you know, giving me her background and just telling me her humble beginnings. And, you know, she doesn't have to do that, but you know, like my mother would, my mother would do the same with someone else, you know, with kids at her job and so forth. So I, I just, it, it was an easy connection, um, but more so just able to learn from her, that legend, like she, she's done it all, you know, so who better else to be a part of? And I know it's uh, based on a true sto story, but there's so much uh, comedy and humor uh, throughout this movie as well. And uh, when you're on set uh, with the great Chris Tucker and Marilyn Wayans, uh, a laugh a minute, dare I say, LOL, laugh out loud sort of moments. Uh, what was that like uh, in between sort of takes? Uh, was it very hard to get into that groove and keep a straight face when you've uh, Chris Tucker with his quirky voice coming up in the background and saying, how you doing, oh. Damien, there today? And then you've Marilyn Wayans at the other ear laying in at the other side. I imagine it sort of would blow your mind at sort of some stage. 
Man, oh man, my first day on set, I'm getting prepared. The eight, the uh, assistants kind of getting me situated in my trailer, and I, I believe they had just filmed the scene. So, uh, Chris, Tucker, Chris Tucker's walking back to his trailer, and all I hear is, "Is that our Michael Jordan?" Is that on Michael Jordan? And then so he uh, he gets my attention and he embraces me, man. And it's just like, wow. I'm, I'm first of all, he's calling me Michael Jordan. Let's start there. Second is Chris Tucker talking to me, and you know he, we had a great conversation. He was very humble. He was very uh, just warm and you know embracing, man. And I couldn't. I couldn't have asked for more, a, a better situation. So I didn't get to quite work with Marlon Wayans. His scenes was, uh, his scenes were uh, shot uh, different days than mine. So we weren't on set at the same time. Um, we probably seen each other in passing, but not enough to, you know, everyone's locked in at that time. So not enough to interact, but I would love to meet him. And he's a legend and just all the work I, I I know for sure I'd be on the floor all day uh, around him, man. He's cutthroat and raw, man. I love it. I, I still watch his stuff today. So um, legends, man, legends. Chris Tucker, every take, he's giving a different vibe. He's giving a different joke, a different punchline off the cuff, man. And it's like getting to learn from that. You know, you got to learn the very dramatic side of everything with the legend Viola Davis. Then you got to see the comedic, um, the comedic improv from Chris Tucker and the 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 great directing from Matt Damon, and then flip and then throw the wig on and and acting from Ben Affleck. Like you can't you can't ask for better, you know. And so I'm just sitting there quiet and just observing and soaking it all in. So now that everybody's you play Michael Jordan. You're, I'm still stuck in that room right now. So I'm still, you know, picking each thing that I saw and learned from each of them right now. So that's what I'm, it, it's, it's great. Man. And uh, Damien Young, uh, obviously the reaction uh, has gone worldwide, is seen in so many countries uh, throughout the world. It's opened opportunities for you to do interviews, uh, speak to us here in Ireland, uh, obviously, and other parts of the world as well. Has it really given you that sort of buzz? Uh, I know speaking to you that you have another basketball project in the, in the pipeline as well, uh, uh, dare I say, in the near future as well. Yes, yes, I do. I have... Um, a project by the name of White Men Can't Jump, the remake. It's It comes out May 19th on Hulu. Um, I'll be playing by like, you know, doing some stunt doubling and I'll have a few little pieces in there. But man, I, I just, I'm excited, man. I get to put my basketball skill on display on a, on a wide screen again, this time actually for my basketball skills. So to once do it, for a basketball icon, just the impersonation of him, and then to double back right back and do it for the actual skill that I have of it, I it's a blessing. I'm blessed, and I I couldn't be more excited. And I and I just hope that everyone's following their dreams because that's all it starts with a dream and having faith in yourself, having faith in um god or higher power whoever you believe in but for me uh be god man and just understanding that anything's possible uh the more you believe yeah the more the more you want and the more you believe the tougher it will be but you know there's no higher risk without you know heavy pressure so just making it through that and being yourself and staying authentic and believing and not deterring from your dreams because people don't see them to be possible. Of course, nobody sees it to be possible to be Michael Jordan or be mentioned as Michael Jordan. But to go to the gym every day and perfect your craft and have the same mindset and to study their, you know, their personality and study the game the way the top players have done it. You know, and I give this analogy all the time. You know, if you reach for the top of the cabinet, you're you're bound to hit the stuff in the middle. You know, you're bound to knock over the goals in the middle. And 
you know, that's what we're doing right now. So I, I want to be appreciative. I want to be in the moment and just feel it. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm talking to my friends and family in Dublin, man, Ireland. Uh, I got I gotta I gotta make my way out there, man. But uh, and we're just gonna keep going and keep pursuing our dreams and loving people, man. And that's what we're doing. And uh, Damien Young, before we sort of wrap up now and do the final sort of 30 seconds to sort of promote uh, air for our audience and listeners, I just got one question for you. You might give us a two word answer or one word answer. Uh, who's going to win the NBA this year? LeBron. So the Lakers are going to win the NBA championship this year. So you've heard the first from uh, Damian Young. Uh, he's tipping the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, LeBron James, uh, to to go all the way and win the NBA championship. Uh, interesting, interesting. I watched the game there last night and uh, lucky, lucky. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damian Young now for the final uh, 30 seconds, you might enlighten all our audience, all our listeners, uh, why they should tune in on mass, go to their cinema screens if they haven't gone already to watch air. It's been out in April the, the 7th. And uh, what's in store for them? Oh, man, it's fun, exciting, uh, just an amazing story about triumph and belief in yourself and in your product and your hard work and the people around you. And when you have genuine love around you, you understand how much someone embodies what they believe in and you're willing to go to bat with them uh, no matter what. And that's what the Jordan family displayed. And that's also what the Nike family displayed. And so once they collab that, now you have the Air Jordan and the Nike and the legendary brand that everyone loves, man. And, and I'm, I'm so happy to even have a part in the telling of the story, Air. Um, available in all theaters worldwide um starring the greatest cast I've, I've seen put together in a long time man and i'm just so happy to be a part and portray the legend michael jordan in the new film air uh make sure you just tune in and go out and watch it with your family and just enjoy this this experience because that's exactly what it is it's an experience of belief it's very motivating it's very triumphant and I, I think you'll definitely take something away from it uh, on that note uh, from me uh, Jim Conlon to you uh, Damian Young uh, congratulations uh, you are the face of uh, Michael Jordan for 2023 and uh, all the best taking on another cult classic uh, pioneer movie and white men can't jump we can't wait to see that come to our TV screens uh, uh, movie screens later on in the year but for the moment for me Jim Conlon to you uh, Damien Young stay safe take care and God bless thank you God bless <laughs>